Hey guys, Miku here and you know, I just gotta say I'm so excited to be able to share this custom ukulele with you folks. This is a tenor size custom Joji Yoshida um, ukulele and these um, ukuleles just do not come up often um, on the market. Um, I've been doing professional sound samples for about five years now and this is I believe number three or four with the, <laughs> how many I've been able to see and one of them was um, a friend of mine that owns one so I don't really count that as one because that's his and that's never gonna show up on the market so this is just one of those like if you're an ukulele collector or if you just want an awesome amazing sounding ukulele look no further to Joji Yoshida's uh, custom ukuleles not only for its aesthetic looks its sound but I mean look at what, what, what's going on blue and what is this fret we're like what's going on it's like it, it's just artwork you know it's just amazing and then the sound itself again is amazing so there's just so much going for this instrument and it always makes me so excited to be able to hold one play one and be able to talk about it and share um joji's work with you folks so let's go ahead and get started on the front of this we have beautiful hawaiian curly coal on the front and then we have big leaf curly maple blue jeans colored basically curly maple with that kind of blue jeans color right here on the sides super crazy like this is like oh my gosh you know joji is actually really known for this he loves taking curly maple and just staining it um like this blue color or some other colors but i've seen like lavender and purple and i've seen i think red before too it's just kind of crazy and you can find that on the back strip of the instrument too so how's that for aesthetics and how's that for color differentials that is so cool more of that hawaiian curly coal here in the back with that nice that jean blue color you know strip curly maple here in the front got rock light binding which is similar to ebony has that jet black kind of look but rock light sustainable wood rock light binding here on the on the back here on the front uh, we do have a little side port here on the side so you can have an accurate re accurate representation of what you're able to hear towards your face versus not being able to hear truly what the instrument sounds like if you're sitting in front of the instrument this side port kind of gives you that accurate representation of the sound now but i have to bring your attention to one of the more unique features if you didn't already think the blue stained uh curly maple didn't jump out enough is that here on the bridge this bigger rosette on the headstock and here on the fretboard we have something known as stabilized box elderwood um, this is the first for me I've seen a lot of different unique types of things that's been put on these kind of custom ukuleles but this is a first for me and it almost reminds me of like Picasso art painting or just one of those like what is that like, you have to stare at it for five minutes and like you find something new every time you look at it because there's always just something different popping up but this is just absolutely crazy in terms of again putting it on the bridge putting in the rosette there's putting it on the fretboard the headstock there's just so many different kinds of colors going on the blue the yellow like colors of the sunset like fiery orange colors but then the blue is in there so you're like hmm i wonder what's going on and the, the blues that you can find here in the stabilized box elderwood is very reminiscent of this blue kind of color that you can find on the curly maple on the sides and the back um yeah really really incredible stuff and if you turn your attention to the back the neck is just as unique as the other types of things going on this ukulele we have three different types of wood going on in the neck so here on the sides you have honduran mahogany which is one of joji's favorite woods to use on the back of his necks um, and then in the middle you have curly maple again stained in that blue just to match that the side back strip and then the sides of the instrument and then here on the tail or the, the heel part of the instrument you have spanish cedar so pretty much other yeah the three most common common types of wood that you would find on a neck joji's like i'm gonna go ahead and just put it all in one uke and i'm gonna stain it blue and i'm gonna call this artwork and you know what this is beautiful artwork and this is just again you just stare at the fretboard just like so much going on right but again that along with just the curly coal and you know when curly coal and then the curly maple is just so nice and i really like this blue this blue is actually one of my favorite colors it looks like a cerulean kind of blue if some of you are like what's cerulean but this is <laughs> cerulean is like one of my favorite colors and it kind of looks like that 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 really nice inviting light kind of shade of blue um gosh really nice and then you know you get more of that kind of blue essence with that um power abalone shell around the outside of the ukulele as well as it accenting again that stabilized box cedar um, wood on the front here um got the fret markers here fret markers on the side um and then on this instrument you do have a radius for fretboard too as well so really nice i really like the radius fretboard because it just it doesn't force me to make my finger completely straight i can go ahead and just kind of curl my finger like that with the radius fretboard um 
And then here on the back plate, we have rock light wood here to get, again, get kind of like that ebony, really jet black kind of looking um, look on the back. And then of course you have the, the, the cream of the crop, SS plus tier uh, tuners here on this instrument, the Rogers tuners, gold. And I really love black Tahitian pearl um, buttons as tuners. In fact, I you know have a custom koala and I requested it to look exactly like this because I love black Tahitian pearls. It's so beautiful, so much different colors going on with the colors of the rainbow. And then it has that like that black charcoalness to it. When you put it, when you shine it in the light, there's just so much little different things going on. But yeah, Rogers Tuners is very exquisite and it's just such a nice, elegant touch to this already elegant looking ukulele. But what's also elegant about this ukulele is what I mentioned before is the sound. Joji's ukuleles just sound fantastic. It's always a treat to be able to play them. And what I really like about this one, just so balanced, well balanced, and it has just, wow, it's really well balanced in terms of it has nice depth. It has nice mid-range, meaning you have the warmth, you have nice sustain really nice sustain but it has a lot of that mid section which is the warmth which is what I like to think of like the overall resonance the overall sound quality that you hear comes from that warmth it's really warm and inviting it has a lot of that lower end so you get that kind of boomy kind of sound so when I strum like on this ukulele I can hear it I can feel that vibration against the back part of the body against my body because it's touching my body I can feel that so it has a nice low end response it has a lot of depth a lot of oomph to its sound has a nice sustain nice sense of warmth inviting warmth to this to the overall sound you know when I'm strumming a chord or I hold like a bar chord it just responds so well and here check out that sustain oh my gosh such a clean sound Even all the way up here, only 11, 11, 11, 14. So clean. This instrument, gosh, can do it all. And what's really cool about this instrument, or maybe not so much cool, but what's really, what I really like about this instrument is that it does have the radius fretboard, but the it's set up really well. And for me, I really like having um, a lower setup or a lower action, meaning the strings are closer to the frets because that means you don't have to press as hard when you're holding down um, chords or you're plucking on the instrument, meaning your hands are much less likely to be sore after playing, whether it's 15 minutes, three hours. I mean, I would play this instrument for three hours and I wouldn't want my hands being sore after, but this ukulele just does a great job of, it's just being set up really well and the action is nice and low. So I can just play this thing for a long time. And with the instrument that sounds like this, Maybe you can even go longer than three hours. If you're not already spending three hours staring at the instrument because it's just so beautiful, you know. So I'm gonna let the sound samples speak for it, but this instrument is just such a treat. Again, Joji's just don't come up often. Really, I can count on less than one hand or on count on one hand just how many times this is showing up or I was you know very fortunate enough to be able to, you know, share this into a sound sample um, with you guys. But so Here's to probably never seeing a Joshi for a while until it pops up on the market again, but I'm going to enjoy every moment of it until it finds a, a very happy home. So here you guys go. Here you go.
Okay, this ukulele sounds so good that I was playing a song in F and I was like, you know what, I gotta keep it going because I don't want to stop. I want to see what it sounds like um, in the key of C. And man, <laughs> what a treat it is to play this. Sounds so good. So easy to play. I'm trying not to get too attached to it. So here it is what it would sound like with some strumming. Mm -hmm. 